how's everybody doing my name is anthony brian logan and today i bring you a crazy video from the people the good people over at cnn the clinton news network the con artist news network <laughs> the criminal news network these people have don't they, they, they don't get it they've yet to understand what's really going on with the reputation they come up with these commercials and apples and apples but whatever the commercial is to try and legitimize themselves as real news but yet they come out with stories like this. I'm not really sure what they were thinking. Did they think that we wouldn't see this story and make fun of it, that we wouldn't do videos about it? Or maybe that's a plan all along. Maybe this is a whole grand scheme to try and get notoriety off of those of us who are going to talk about stories like this. Maybe that's the case, but I digress for now. What we're going to do is watch this video. Now, to give you a little bit of backstory before we get into it, CNN has been really following trump you might even say stalking trump at his golf course they're trying to get views of him golfing and they're going through some extreme measures to be able to get their shot to be able to get their view i can't tell if this is cnn or tmz maybe they're one and the same i can't really tell but what we're going to do right now is go ahead and roll the clip we're going to pause at certain points so I can give you my two cents about what's going on. After we get done with the clip, I'll give you my final thoughts. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. You know, our job down here is to cover the president, to tell our viewers what he is doing on a daily basis. Over the last few days, we've gotten video of the president golfing at his nearby golf club uh, here in West Palm Beach. Uh, there is a break in the hedges, really. The, the president, <laughs> tr president doesn't really, and his staff doesn't really tell us when he is golfing. And we oh, break in the hedges. So what do you really mean by that? Let's let's continue and see what he says. We have taken to you know going outside the golf course and filming him as he golfs through a break in hedges near the club. <laughs> I <laughs> so okay, let's 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 so you know he's he's using fancy language here or breaking the hedges. What they have done since they're not really allowing us out the golf course, they've gone to going outside of the golf course and peeking through bushes to get a shot of him golfing. I mean, are you paparazzi or what? What's really going on? Is it that serious? You got to go through hedges and stuff like that to try and get a shot at the president. You got to literally hide in the bushes. Really? Is that what's going on? Wasn't it CNN that had the fake story about somebody? It might have been um, Comey or somebody trying to hide in the bushes away from Trump. But now they literally doing that and they have the news story that they've put out to prove it. That's crazy. Today, a big wa a white box truck parked in front of those hedges trying to obscure <laughs> our shot of President Trump. Even Don Lemon is laughing. Even Don Lemon is laughing. He knows this is silly. He knows that they're, they're just doing too much with trying to capture footage of the president. I mean, if it's, if it's petty and silly for Trump to put the box truck in front of the break in the hedges, then it's even sillier for them to be trying to get around it and be making a news story about it. Trump golfing. Now, this may seem trivial, but it is important to get video of the president as he does these things on a daily basis. Uh, and, and it gets to something that is larger. The president and the White House have tried to obscure the fact that President Trump golfs on a regular basis. According to our count, he has visited one of his golf courses 87 times. As Now, I will say this, the whole golfing thing, he probably could golf a little bit less. But my thing is that he's getting work done. He's getting a lot of stuff done. If he was at the golf course all the time and just loafing around doing nothing, then I would take more of an issue with it. But since he is getting work done, then go ahead and golf. You know, you earned your 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 ability to go golf in your golf course. President, uh, this is a man who ran for president, who criticized uh, President Barack Obama regularly for golfing during his presidency. But that criticism hasn't continued into the Trump presidency. President Trump has regularly visited these golf courses that he owns. This is and White this House is crazy. Have been, uh, hesitant to ever confirm that he is golfing, and, and, and this box truck and the video that uh, that we have is yet another example of the White House uh, trying to obscure the fact that he's golfing. We've reached out to the White House, to Secret Service, and to the uh, the sheriff's officers down here the uh, to confirm was this their truck, what was this part of. Uh, we haven't really gotten many responses back so far, Don. Okay, so you've heard that, you've seen that. Now this <laughs> this is really silly. Look at this. Do you do you see this? This is CNN. This is really CNN. This is not TMZ. This is not some paparazzi, random stuff in Hollywood. This is in Florida. Like you said, West Palm Beach. You see it right there at the top. This is really CNN. They're peeking through bushes to try and get a shot at Trump. Is it that serious? 
You can't just write the story like, okay, you don't have to get footage of him actually on the golf course. Is that necessary, really? You can report the story without having to have footage of him doing it. You putting this story out here makes you look just really desperate, crazy, and stalkerish, if I do say so myself. If it was me golfing on my golf course and I didn't want you there, and then you go outside of my golf course and try to peek through my bushes to try and get me, I might put a box truck right there, too. And then you're calling the police. What What are the police going to do? What are the police going to say? Oh, yeah, that's Trump's box truck. You trying to keep you out? Obviously, they're trying to get you out of there. I mean, why not take the first hint? And the first hint was that you're not really welcome on the golf course. The second hint is that they put a box truck up in front of the hole in the bushes you were trying to peek through. Isn't this somehow trespassing? Like, if it was me, if I was Trump, if I was his team at the golf course, I would say they're seen in this trespassing. I would call the police. Yeah, I would call the police and be like, yo, you can't be here. If that's possible, I'm not really sure if it is or it isn't. But if his golf course is private property, then I don't think it's okay for people to be peeking through the bushes when they're not welcome to do so. But this just really solidifies what I think about CNN. And you saw Don Lemon's face. He was laughing. Even Don Lemon, the CNN's biggest cheerleader, had to laugh at this because this is just taking it way too far. I understand that the liberal media hates Trump and they want to make him look bad and all this and that. They want to talk about the golf and they want to talk about his comparison to Barack Obama and criticizing his golf. And I get it. I understand. I'm with them 100 percent as far as their line of thought is concerned. I understand. However, this is just too much. I mean, come on, CNN. The, the, the whole thing with the Koi Pond, remember that? They were talking about, oh, well, he dumped the whole bucket of uh, Koi fish into the Koi Pond. He was trying to kill the fish. That was bad enough. But this one takes the cake. This one is, this is just top tier, top tier level ridiculousness. Stop peeking through the man's bushes. And if you come to somebody else's house and peek through the bushes, maybe you won't get such a uh, warm and friendly because really that truck is actually warm and friendly compared to what you could get going to, going to somebody else's house. So what do you think? Do you think that this story from CNN just highlights the desperation and highlights how fake they've become? How the mighty have fallen? I remember at one point in time, CNN was one of the top dogs, one of the more respected networks on television, but now they've become a shadow of their former selves. They've become a shell of their former selves. Uh, Jeff Zucker, I think he's the CEO. I don't know what you're doing, boss. You're trying to sell the actual station. Hopefully they get sold to an owner that's going to be more hands-on and guides them in the right direction because it would be a shame to see them go, but if they go, then that's fine because stories like this, I mean, come on. Like, either you're going to be a reputable news station or you're going to be TMZ. Now, honestly, TMZ, I probably would believe more than CNN. TMZ has been more right than wrong in the past couple of years. See, the thing about TMZ is that you know they have kind of a a, a Hollywood slant. They're not going to be always 100% accurate, but in my opinion, they're more accurate than they are inaccurate. However, CNN has this political bias that they try to hide away from. It's like if you own your political bias, if you own what you were, then I can respect you more. You understand? It's just like somebody trying to conceal their identity, trying to behave as somebody else. If they were to come out and be who they were, even if I don't like who that person is, I would say, you know what? I can respect you for at least being true to yourself. CNN is not being true to themselves. Peeking through the bushes, this is the behavior of an upstart paparazzi type organization not a real and respected news organization that's going to bring news to all corners of the planet translated in many different languages but whatever your comments are please let me know in the comments below and that's all i gotta say for this video if you like what you heard please comment rate share and subscribe peace